Right guys, hello and have a day for you. What we're going to do today is talk about USB foot switches, foot pedals, whatever you want to call them. I'll break the video down with timestamps, give you those chapters to help you find what you want to see, as well as useful links in the description of the video and a pinned comment below. So let's just quickly start off with talking about why you might want to own foot pedals. It's all about having shortcuts, not just at our fingertips, but our tippy tiptoes. It can actually be quite useful because we all use computers in different ways. Maybe you do a lot of word processing where you cut, copy and paste a lot rather than do the finger gymnastics of control and X together, control and C, control and V. We can have those shortcuts preset to pedals at our feet. You could do a lot of streaming and recording on OBS, start and stop it with foot pedals. You could be a gamer that uses Discord to chat with your friends. You don't want your mic all the time. You want push to talk. You can press a pedal to speak, take your foot off to mute your microphone. It could be a game that has a light gun and you want your authentic arcade experience of time crisis, pressing a pedal to take cover and reload, take your foot off when you're ready to fire. Lots of reasons to own foot pedals, we just have to use our imagination. The real question is which pedals should we buy? There's quite a lot of options out there. Those of you that have a Sindon light gun, they sell a pedal. It's very nice, it's a single pedal, but it's more expensive than the gun itself. It's about £200, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so I've bought the Ica Gold pedals off Amazon, it's quite common for people to buy these. They can be sold under different names. What's key about them is that we can program them with software to do what we want them to do. There's other pedals out there like the Infinity brand. I think you might see the Olympus ones here on Amazon. Quite expensive and they're really meant to be solely used with transcribing software. These always output the same command that that software is expecting to see. Now, if you do happen to own transcribing pedals, there are software workarounds you can do so your machine can convert that to do other commands. But that's making things more complicated than it needs to be. So these are the pedals that I bought, the Icagol upgraded optical switch. I've got three pedals at £35. That seemed pretty reasonable. I've got three shortcuts available. I've had them about a year. They're still working just fine. So yes, I do have a light gun. I want to do Time Crisis 5. In the arcade that had two pedals so light gun users maybe get at least a dual pedal set if you've got two light guns you might want two of you to share the same foot pedal so the original time crisis was just a single pedal player one player two can use the opposite sides of the pedal board so you can see there's a set there with the yellow pedals why didn't i buy those they're a little bit more expensive that's not why they're more expensive because they've got a metal insert in the base what turned me off them is that there is a surround around the pedal. So I wasn't sure how well my foot would fit in there with boots or trainers on. And if I did want to share it between two people, the way they're angled, I don't know that that would be particularly helpful uh, to share between two people. So you pick what works for you and your use case. But yeah, the, the triple pedals seem the way to go. But what I'm going to do is give you the link so you can get to the PC Sensor website and you can download the foot switch software. So get that downloaded and installed on your machine. I'm not going to go over that because it's very easy to do. We don't need to drag the video out. Now, this is all gone out of kilter. Let's just fix that. So once you've got the software opened and your pedals are connected, it's automatically going to detect which ones you own. So it's telling me I've got the FS2020 pedals, uh, left key, middle key, right key. So I've obviously got three pedals, three keys available. Show me that they're bound as A, B, and C out of the box. We're going to change that because that's not particularly helpful. It's talking about a continuous trigger. So what does that mean? If I open up Notepad and I hold down that left pedal, keep it pressed, it's just going to keep doing A, as you'd expect if you pressed and held A on a keyboard. If we did a single trigger, then it will just do a single character A, no matter how long I hold that pedal down for. I don't know why you want that option. Uh, but it's nice to know that customization option is there. We can see we can clear these if we've made a mistake and change them. Save to key will flash the changes to the pedals. And when I say flash, I mean it's set it and forget it. You can unplug it, they lose power. It won't matter, it won't forget. When you plug them back in again, it will be as you set them before. Initiate, it will say initialized. It basically resets them back to the default settings. So over to the right it says function. You can see we can have them work as a keyboard. You can have it work as a mouse. So I don't know why you want mouse clicks at your feet, but the forward and back, that could be kind of useful. Going backwards and forwards through web pages if you've got a very basic mouse with only two or three buttons on it. 
we've got the string option so you can have a string of characters so pretty obvious example if you write emails and you've always got your kind regards at the end comma enter for a new line and your name so i can flash that to the pedal when we go into notepad and i press that pedal it'll type that out for me just a single press which is kind of useful so use your imagination if you play a lot of games uh, people like to do gg good game but yeah if you don't want to use a microphone and you want to say uh, this enemy's at objective b or whatever you need to type you can have that uh, 38 characters to expand it out you don't have to abbreviate things that might be kind of useful to you we've got multimedia options so we can increase decrease volume play pause stop open up your calculator put your pc to sleep or shut it down all with a press of a pedal we've even got the game tab so we can emulate a gamepad controller as well buttons with the pedals so let's go over an example of how i might want to set my pedals up we talked about discord and push to talk that probably interests a lot of people so we go into discord we go down to the bottom our user settings the cog into voice and video so our voice settings our input device pick your microphone we want push to talk and we'll set up our shortcut so we can edit the key bind i'm doing right control because that's not commonly used in other software so we won't get any conflicts that should be all good so we can come out of discord i'll go back into the foot switch software and i think i'll do that on my middle pedal so we'll do right control now that's saying b and right control that's clearly wrong that won't work so we'll clear it make sure that's right control so let's go over to my left pedal now that's saying single trigger now obviously that was because when you press the pedal it's just going to type out that line of text once you don't want it to continuously do it over and over and over again so I need to make sure I change this to continuous trigger. I like to do light gun games. Badacera is a custom Linux operating system. It's pretty much plug and play for light guns. They've recently added pedal support and they have said player one, it's C to reload. And I want it to be a continuous trigger. So for time crisis, I'm keeping that pedal held down. It's going to be a continuous trigger to keep doing C. So that's correct. That's going to work. And my far right pedal, they've said player two, it's V for them to do reload. So I'm going to have two players share this pedal board and we can save those changes. There we go. So those of you that are light gun users and you want to use Badacera, it's a good way to do it. Uh, but there's some more advanced things we can do. So let's give another example where, okay, I want to do Discord push to talk. And I want to do other tactical first person shooters where you can lean with Q to the left and I can lean to the right with E uh, and I can save those changes. Now, that's great on my Windows PC, but on Badacera, I'm stuffed because when I, once you use the light guns, it's not going to work. So what I can do is change Badacera to recognize the keys I want it to be. So I'm going to use FileZilla to do this. SSH, we're going to do it over the network. You can look up on their uh, Balacera wiki the ways to do this. But I'll just show you how I do it. So the host is Balacera. My machine is on. The username is root, Romeo Oscar Oscar Tango. Password is Linux. Lima Indigo November Uniform X-Ray. The port is 22 and quick connect. So because the machine is on, it's found it. It's the Balacera comp file I'm looking for. I'm going to right click view and edit it we'll open it in the notepad that's just fine we're going to scroll down until we see the controllers section so there we go so if you have a hashtag at the start of a line it basically tells the software to ignore that line so we definitely don't want a hashtag and i've manually added the line controllers full start pedals one being player one equals rctrl so player one reload works with right control which is what I bound on the center pedal. So I can change that to be Q. And for player two, we can do controllers, full stop pedals, two for player two equals E. So my left pedal was set as Q, so that's reload for player one. My far right pedal is for player two, that's going to be E. So we can save. And it's Tell me it's detected the change. Do I want to send that to Sarah? So we can say yes, and it'll upload it, make 
the changes. So some more help for those of you that are Lightgun users. In Windows, we've got access to an arcade loader called Technoparrot. That does quite a lot of the recent arcade games that look really, really, really nice. So yeah, there's Time Crisis 5, which I mentioned in the arcades, had two pedals. So when we set this game up in the controller options, you can see, see my Cinder light gun, and I've set up buttons to add coins and obviously the trigger. But when it comes to the left and right pedal, I've just pressed on my foot switches and it's just detected it as a completely separate uh, like controller. Now, it won't matter what I've set it as. I can change those binds from Q to C to V. It won't matter. Tent Parrot doesn't care. It just sees it as those pedals. So that's absolutely fine. So that's nice. I've now got myself covered for doing tactical first person shooters q and &E. I've got my push to talk for Discord on my gaming PC. I can use these pedals in Balisera. That's all covered. And even in Techno Parrot, I've got myself pretty well covered. So hopefully that's helped you out, guys. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.